In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Cinema FV5 camera app. Now this app takes pictures and it shoots video, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna focus on the video side. If you want me to do a follow-up video and show you how to work the photography side, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Now let's get right into it. Let me open up Cinema FV5 and show you the features. The first thing we're gonna focus on when the app opens up is the auto white balance feature down on the bottom left. If you tap on that, you're gonna see that it opens up a bunch of white balance options. You see auto white balance, cloudy, sunshine, fluorescent, incandescent, and you have a white balance lock. The white balance lock is important because once you have the white balance set, you tap on the lock feature and it locks it in place so it doesn't shift. Moving along to the right is the focus mode. We have autofocus, manual focus, face tracking, continuous focusing. That means that it's always hunting for something to focus on. I don't recommend this personally. And then you have touch focus. Touch focus means that you can touch anywhere on the screen and the app will then focus on the area that you touched. And then on the far right, we have focus locking. Again, this can be really important if you don't want your focus to change while you're moving the camera around. Next to that, we have light metering modes. You have the option to choose matrix, center, point, or touch metering. And of course, you can lock it off on the right. To the right of that, you have ISO. By default, it's gonna be set on auto, and depending on your device, you're gonna see more ISO options. This particular phone only goes up to ISO 800, but your device might go up even higher. Next to that, we have exposure compensation. This is really, really handy. You can tap to the left, tap to the right, and you can really dial in your exposure by small taps, one little tap at a time. You can also manually adjust the exposure by the little slider over here on the far right. You can use two fingers and pinch and zoom, and that's gonna zoom in or zoom out on the subject. And then if you look over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a set of headphones. This is a really great feature. If you tap on the headphones, you're gonna see a prompt that says, connect the headphones to the device to start audio monitoring. That means that you can put in headphones, plug them into your headphone jack, and you can monitor the audio that's being recorded through the app. And that means that the app has audio monitoring. And you can find that by looking at the very top after you hit the record button. While the app is recording, you're gonna see the audio meter up on the top left-hand side. And you can see when I snap my fingers, it's gonna peek it out. But as you're speaking or recording, whatever it is you're recording, you can see what the audio meter is by looking up here. This is one of those features that every video app needs to have because if you don't know if your audio is clipping or maxing out, that means it could be distorting and you're ruining your audio. Above the headphone icon, you're gonna find the lighting mode. This means that you can turn on and off the front light of the camera. Above that, you're going to see menu. This is where you can add your histograms. So you can see the red, green, and blue colors. You can add various grids like the rule of thirds. And on the far right, you can see various safe zones. On the top far right, you're gonna see a photo icon. If I tap on that, that's gonna take us over to photography mode, but that's not what we're focusing on today, so we're not gonna tap that. We're gonna save that for a future video. Back to the left-hand side on the very top, you're gonna to see the settings icon. If you tap on the settings icon, this is where you can dig in and manually set up all the features of the camera. For example, right on the top, as soon as you tap on it, you can say focus before capturing, so the app makes sure to lock in on something and focus before you actually start recording. As you scroll down, you can see things like storage location, you can add video file name patterns, you can add a custom video prefix, you can play camera sounds or you can turn them off, you can invert volume keys, add geotagging, or at the very bottom, you can reset all of your settings. Moving along underneath that is the film icon. This is where you can add custom video settings. For example, you can change the container format, you can change your video resolution. For this particular video, I'm recording in 1080p, but you can go all the way up to 4K. You can also choose the video codec, the video bit rate, and the frame rate. Scrolling on down, you can turn on or off the ability to lock exposure while recording and lock the white balance while recording. Underneath that, you have recording limits. In the event that you have only a certain amount of storage on your phone, you can set this so you don't go over it and stop recording in the middle of your shoot. Moving on to audio, you can include an audio track or remove an audio track simply by toggling on and off. You can choose the audio source, so you can use the built-in video camera, an external mic, or a Bluetooth mic. And if you wanna add custom audio settings like the audio channels, audio bit rate, sampling rate, and so on, you can do that down below. But at the very bottom of the audio setting, there's one thing I want you to pay attention to, and that's disable audio automatic gain. This is to disable the internal AGC algorithm. AGC stands for automatic gain control. You wanna disable the AGC to make sure that the microphone is doing its job and the phone isn't trying to overcompensate for something that it's hearing or isn't hearing. 
Underneath audio, you're gonna see viewfinder options. You can scroll through there, it's pretty self-explanatory. And underneath that, you have about or information. You can change the language to another language or you can watch tutorials that they have built into the app. Now, right about now, you're probably wondering if this app is free or what's the catch with this app. The app itself costs $2.80 or around there in US dollars. However, you can install Cinema FV5 Lite, which is totally free, but it does come with some limitations, such as you can only record up to 720p. So if you wanna record 1080p or 4K, you're gonna have to spring for the paid version, which is the Cinema FV5. But if you just wanna check it out first to make sure it works in your device, go ahead and download the Lite version. And if everything works and you like the app, spring for the paid version. It's worth it. If you want to learn more about your smartphone and interesting creative apps like this, remember to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.